I've been coming to Dodge Picture Gallery since I was really small and would always come here and sort of walk around the permanent collection. I like the work of Rubens and what I'm really drawn to is these studies for larger works. You know you have an idea in your head or that you read a poem and it leaves you with a feeling that you can't quite put your finger on and I think painting does that and looking at paintings like Rubens' Venus and Adonis, there's a lot going on and the story and this morning. When you go and look at all these sort of old masters paintings, they're so sexual and so sort of like over the top. Because when I think of my own work, you know, I'm fascinated by the nude. I'm fascinated with all the fuss around the nude. I'm fascinated with it endlessly. I feel like I landed where I did because I got really engaged with the life room. And then I started thinking about the fact that I was a woman and I had a body and you experience the world through your body and through how people look at you and how you look at the world. And I think that's just something I wanted to be able to indulge in and not feel like I couldn't. And um, I, I find Ruben's work is just really joyous and you sort of see how often he's used his wife's face and then the sculptural bodies. I think there's definitely a bit of that. With my work, you, I will kind of find a face somewhere and then attach it to a body of an image that I might have found elsewhere. My favourite painting from the show I did recently is called Count Me Out and it's a figure sort of with her face to the side. I was looking a lot at uh, old master techniques and trying to figure out how to do a bit of like spumato and I wanted to build up like a dark layer that wasn't just me putting black on, I wanted to build it up and I felt like I learnt so much and it gave me so much and it's such an odd face. She's a bit like a devil, sort of half emerging, like a moon face or something. Early on, I didn't think at all about what other people would like. It was solely for myself. And then I guess as you become self-aware, you can't help sometimes but wonder, you know, oh, someone might look at this and what are they going to think? So for me, it's really important that it's me exercising my rights as a human being to indulge in whatever comes my way.